Let's take a look at some of the questions from the checkpoint practice test. Question 2, show that 0, 0,2 recurring is a rational number. So the problem here might be that you might have been confused as to what the question was asking you to do. So let's identify the key word of rational. A rational number is a number that can be written as a fraction. For example, A over B, and it's a specific kind of fraction where A and B are both integers. So they're numbers like negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., etc. Okay, so if we are asked to show that 0, 0,2 recurring is rational, what we're basically being asked to do is to rewrite it as a fraction. Because if we can write it as a fraction, then we can show that it's a rational number. So we start off with our method for uh, writing recurring decimals as a fraction. We set up an equation. So we let x equal 0, 0,2 recurring. We can now create a second equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by a power of 10. And to decide what power of 10 you're going to multiply by, you look at the number of digits that are recurring. There is one digit recurring here, so you're going to multiply by 10 to the power of 1, which is just 10. x times 10 is 10x, and on the right-hand side we move the decimal place one jump to the right, and we have 2 comma 2 recurring. We can now subtract the equations from each other, and what that does is it gets rid of all of those recurring decimal places. So 10x minus x is 9x, 2 comma 2 recurring minus 0 comma 2 recurring is just 2, and so x is equal to 2 over 9, and we have now shown that 0 comma 2 recurring is a rational number because it can be written as an integer divided by an integer. Number 3a, what we need to be careful of here is our order of operations. So we must remember to do bed mass. Okay, so brackets, exponents, then division and multiplication, and then lastly, addition and subtraction. So you might be tempted here to first say 2x subtract x, but remember that's doing the subtraction before the multiplication. So we actually need to start by doing the distributive law. So we'll have 2x, negative x times x is negative x squared, negative x times positive 4 is negative 4x. We can now collect together the like terms of 2x and negative 4x, and that leaves us with negative x squared minus 2x. Question 3c. Again, we need to follow our order of operations. We have brackets being raised to an exponent, so that needs to happen before we do the distributive law or multiply the negative 3. Squaring a bracket, we'll have p times p, which is p squared. The outers and the inners will both be negative 2pq, so altogether we'll have negative 4pq, and then negative 2q times negative 2q is positive 4q squared. Now that we've done the exponents, we can do the distributive law with the negative 3, and the final answer is negative 3p uh, squared plus 12pq plus 12 um, minus 12q squared. Number 3f, we need to add these fractions together, so we need to find the lowest common denominator. Remember that before you decide what your lowest common denominator is, make sure that your denominators are fully factorized, so that you don't repeat any like factors between the two fractions. Here, x is common, so that will leave us with x plus y in a bracket. In the second denominator, y is common. It will leave us with y plus x, which if we swap around gives us x plus y. Remember that y plus x and x plus y are the same. So our lowest common denominator will be xy into x plus y. We need to times the first fraction by y over y, and we need to times the second fraction by x over x in order to get our uh, equivalent denominators. So that leaves us with y squared plus x squared. Question 4. We have to factorize root 2 x squared plus 4 root 2. We, if we have a look here, we have two terms in this expression, and the common factor to both terms is square root of 2. So we can take square root of 2 out as a common factor, and that will leave us with x squared plus 4. Be very careful, x squared plus 4 is the sum of two perfect squares, not the difference, so it doesn't factorize any further, and so that is the final answer.